here we are. Today is next week. Yep. And uh, <laughs> and this is the third weekend, so it's episode three. Um, obviously, you can see what we've done here. We've profiled the blade on the last two episodes. And if you want to have a look at the other episodes, I'll stick a card up in here for somewhere here for episode one. And um, and then on the next episode, we made these or Joda made these handles, and that's was in episode two, also up here in the card. But um, so we've come up, he's come up with that, and I think it's looking really good. Um, this is 1084 steel, same as the blade I've said before, and that's what it looks like so far. And I think yeah, it's looking pretty good. You know, it's a pretty heavy knife, but we're gonna. Yes. What we're going to do is drill through and lighten it up. Um, but today what we're going to try and do is we need to, this is still pretty wobbly and we're going to try and straighten this out um, by rubbing it on sandpaper and putting it on a platen on the grinder, probably a combination of the two, to get it nice and flat so that when we grind it or when he grinds it, we're going to get this nice, nice clean grind line. Um, and we yet to get to the most difficult part of knife making which is the bevel grinding. Um, we're also going to go through, if we've got time, we're going to go through the normalising process and I do four thermo cycles. Um, so that's really what we're going to do today. We're also going to, if we've got time, we're going to heat treat the whole thing including the blades and it's probably going to be it for today. But So what do you think so far, Jordan? Yeah, it's going pretty good. Um, and actually trying to find out where the, because we, we did realise that it was all Kind of a little bit bent initially, um, putting it on the flat plate and sort of tapping around, and then we use this. So we coloured it in with that. Um, yeah. So we coloured it in with all this marker, and then to get an idea of where the bends and bows and things, we just put it on the magnet and then grinded it a little bit. So we got to see where you can see where the hot points are uh, near the tip and uh, and down that spine, I guess. But that will tell us, yeah, that will tell us exactly where it's bowed and how much work we need to do to get it flat. Exactly. Um, so that's going to be the first thing we do today. Yeah. So I guess we may as well crack on with it. So I think the arrows are good. You follow them initially. Yeah. But after a while.
All right, so Jordan's had to go out. Um, we've just heat treated the blade, you saw that. We've heat treated these uh, handle scales as well. We're going to see how hard these are. I'd say that's pretty damn hard. So that's the heat treated blade. That is hard. So I can only find one clamp, so I'm just going to clamp that in there like that. And I'm going to temper that like that. Right. What people do, when, when that's round, people always look at that and then they should be looking over there. <laughs> and this is what people, because you see it in the comments, they go, ah. <laughs> I go, um, amateur, you're looking at the bloody... <laughs> so hey folks, uh, here we are again, this must be, um, what is this? I don't know how many weekends this is since we've uh, been able to do any knife making, but um, yeah. But you've been working uh, the last few weekends, so I think this is going to be weekend, was it three or four? It's probably third week since we've... Yeah, the third it. one, but yeah. this this one probably just going to be part three. What we've done is we've got this so far. We've got the, we've got the blade profiled, drilled some holes in it, and then we've drilled some more holes to uh, lighten it. Um, but it's been heat treated and tempered, and we've also heat treated and tempered the scales. What we're going to have to do today is clean these up, get those into ferric chloride and then start working on the blade and get the uh, blade cleaned up and hopefully beveled. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're going to do, so I guess we better get on with it. Let's do it. So what we're just talking about um, is uh, getting the final edge on this. It's too soon for this right now, but uh, what we're just discussing is how to get a fine edge or a nice sharp edge on there and um, it's not something I've seen people talk about. If this is finished, you know, before the edge gets put on, in other words, this gets kind of right, been sanded right down to a final sand, it could be a 600 grit or it could be even higher, but it's almost a polished edge on there. The idea is when we finally put our bevels on and we're working back down towards that, that final uh, edge, the theory is if at the moment you've basically got that and it's all very rough under the microscope that would be really rough so if this got smoothed out completely and then this edge got finished like that right down to a fine edge then this very very fine micro or the point is going to be nice and smooth and you've got more chance of getting a really nice sharp edge. Well that's my theory and that's what I've been doing all along and I've been fairly successful I think. I don't know, what do you think? Yeah, I reckon so. Mm -hmm. I, I can see that, definitely. Yeah. So that's what we're going to work to. But um, I don't know. If anyone's got any ideas then they should uh, <laughs> make a comment I suppose.
yeah so this is where we're at now we've cleaned up the the edges down to a real nice point um, surfaces there are the, the scotch bright finish yeah and then on these edges we finished it off on the on the 240 the yeah. 240 yeah so that gives us a nice starting point now to do the bevels, which we're going to have to do next time because we've run out of time already. Good uh, week. <laughs> so another week. Um, yeah, so I suppose next weekend. Are you working next Sunday or not? You know, not next Sunday. Oh, so, so be the day. maybe see you next Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> We're taking a sand! We want them drifting! I can't see the landmark! You heard the lieutenant! Hold, please!